Hi, I'm Mark Stever, Chief Tax Information Officer at Jackson Hewitt Tax Service. Did you know that around 30 million people are self-employed in some form at any given time in the United States? And I can only imagine this year that even more people are starting side gigs, part-time jobs, and other activities to make ends meet during the pandemic. Today I'll be answering some of the most common questions about how side gig income can and will affect your 2020 tax return. And I'll explain how this could help you even keep more of your money at tax time. How do you know if you owe taxes on side income? Well, it's simple. Side income, whether it be freelance work, rideshare driving, Airbnb activity, babysitting, landscaping, cryptocurrency, or your passion turned into a business, is typically considered self-employment income. And this income must be reported on your tax return and you must pay taxes on it. In many cases, you may receive a Form 1099 NEC for non-employee compensation or Form 1099-K to report the income. But even if you don't receive either of those forms, you're still required to report all of your income that you earn on your tax return. So keep good records. The good news is this. You also get to deduct certain expenses you have while earning your money. So knowing what the rules are, how to properly keep track of all that, and what to do at tax time is very important. Do you have to make quarterly estimated payments on your side income? The simple answer is you might. If you expect to owe more than $1,000 in federal taxes at the end of the year, you're likely going to need to make quarterly tax payments. And a misstep can be costly with underpayment penalties. So if you're making money, be sure you understand the tax payment rules and the requirements. I generally recommend setting aside 20% to 25% of your net earnings. For the most accuracy though, and less tax surprises, a tax pro can help you understand what you might really owe and how much you should set aside for estimated tax payments. But be sure to pay those estimated payments by the quarterly due dates, April 15, June 15, September 15, and the following January 15th are critical dates. Don't miss these payments as you could face penalties. Can you take deductions on expenses related to your side job? Most likely, yes. Within the 70,000 pages of tax law, there are benefits like credits and deductions for those who are self-employed, many of which are available if you're working a side gig, and the expenses are related to the work, of course, and not reimbursed. Deductible expenses can include tools and equipment needed to do your job, like a computer or cell phone, business mileage, and even a home office deduction, just to name a few. But in the end, remember, if you don't know the rules and forget to claim a tax break or a tax deduction, the IRS will not find it for you. So be sure to work with a tax pro to find every credit and every deduction that you deserve. For more information, schedule an appointment today at jacksonhewitt.com.